first and get the little bastards on ramps. Alright, so 10 millimeter bolts all the way around. Just to remove this plastic engine cover. This Fiat wants to be aerodynamic, I guess. Make sure that it doesn't fly away. Or maybe it does fly away, I never know. So once we take this off, this will give us the access to the oil pan drain plug. Ugh, without mess. It's got too far. And this will probably hit me in the face once I'm done because there's barely any room here, but that's cool. The sacrifices I do for my viewers. Uh -oh. Alright, so this should be able. Almost one more, actually two more bolts right here before it falls on my face. And yes, I am using impact socket because that's the one my girlfriend brought me. But it's pretty awesome of her to actually bring proper socket even though it's not the right color it still works right right yep my face yeah. nearly got me missed by a few inches There we go. Alright, and here is the drain plug. Alright, we're here. It looks like it's about 13 millimeters or so in size. Let's check. I'm pretty sure I have 13 millimeter in my pocket. Yep, 13 millimeters. Awesome. Cool. Alright, so some idiot actually over tightened it like fucking crazy. I had to use a breaker bar to freaking break the thread. And, not thread, to break it loose, but now it's fine. Good. Yeah, that's crazy. I had to use a breaker bar for a freaking oil plug. That's, that's what tells you about dealership. Probably use the fucking impact gun to actually tighten this up. It's nuts. Alright, let's see which way it's gonna go. Yeah! Perfect. Alright, now we'll wait. Alright, so now, since the oil is done, you pretty much have a couple drips, put the plug back in, and make sure you don't over tighten it. You want to make it snug, you don't want to over tighten it. You don't want to tighten it to more than like, probably 20 pounds or so. So we're actually going to use just a wrench to do that. <coughs> so that should be good enough. Don't need a freaking breaker bar to get it off. Plus, it has a rubber gasket in it, so what that means to us, that means it's actually gonna seal even when you don't over tighten it like some idiot did. Whoever did the oil change on before. Alright, so technically the bottom part is done. Now we just need to reattach the, uh, the aerodynamic cover that the fancy Fiat comes with. Alright, so now we're just gonna put the cover back on real quick. We don't need to make it too tight, just need to make it snug. 
it is plastic so you don't want to crack it or split it or anything like that so the easiest way to do it is just to pretty much put the bolts in just by hand tightening them just a little bit so you don't cross thread them or anything like that and then kind of just go with your wrench or if you have more room than I do you can even use your electric drill with just a 10 millimeter bit on it which in my situation would have been perfect if I had a little bit more room but I don't so I kind of have to do it by hand but not that big of a deal Almost had it. And just repeat on all of the bolts. And just remember, don't over tighten it. It's a big thing. You don't want to get it too tight. You don't want to split it. All right. So, any video you'll see on Fiat 500 to remove oil filter, they usually remove the airbox, remove the nozzles, remove all the hoses, remove the top cover, remove pretty much the whole top part just to get to there. Um, I haven't tried this, but it makes sense to me that there looks like a little bit easier way. So what you're gonna need, and this again, this if it works, if it doesn't, we're just gonna redo the video. <laughs> what you're gonna need is 27 millimeter socket, then swivel adapter, and about 12 inches extension, a screwdriver. That's pretty much it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop this line off so we can move it a little bit, so we can get to filter. There we go. That what kind of line is that? That gives us access. This is going to be your just AC line. It's the only line that's next to the filter. So here's the filter, so you can see it. And by moving this, we actually have some room so I can grab it once, once, once I get it loose. So now we're going to give it a shot and see if my whole swivel idea is going to actually work on it. Just be very careful. It is a plastic filter. You don't want to break it. There we go. Some movement. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but it does work. Fiat wants to be difficult, and wants to use cartridge instead of conventional filter. And how much did we pay for it, for that cartridge? It's crazy, right? It's like $20. Shit, you can buy a $5 filter that has some metal in it, not just paper, for like you know, four times less than that. That's just nuts. Damn Italians. Just kidding. If you're Italian, I'm joking. Not. Or maybe. A little bit. Alright, well, let's see if I can actually get it out. Gotta roll up my sleeve for that one. See if my hands, and I have very large hands by the way, so that's for me usually to get into small spaces is a very difficult task. Alright. Yeah. If you need little hands, I have them. See, got it almost all the way out. Great success. Didn't have to remove anything. All right, all right. So first, you always want to make sure that you match your filters. Make sure it's the same filter. Make sure it looks the same. It's about the same size. So the edges are slightly different but it looks roughly about the same so then what you want to do there's a little gasket over here rubber seal I guess or whatever it's called you kind of want to get it off might have to use a pick for that so you might want to get the pick, pick through it just kind of run the pick through and it will come off there we go so then you actually want to oil one of your gaskets. I prefer to do it with a clean oil. Some people say use dirty lube. I just rather do it with clean oil. Of 
whether we're going to use castrol edge, which is supposed to be the business. Yeah. I'm just going to dunk this thing in there. There we go. Nice and lubed. We just gotta stretch it back out, put it same place. There we go. Perfect. All right, so you want to make sure that's there. You want to make sure it's nice and lubed. Then you want to insert your filter in here. Pops in just like it was. If I can figure it out. There we go. That's popped in. So you're supposed to be able to hold it like that. Alright, well, all ready to be put in. Let's see if I can maneuver it in again. My huge hands. Oh, by the way, I did remove the top uh, engine cover because it was just kind of in my way. Partially in. Very close, very close. And of course, you don't want to tighten it with a wrench. You actually want to tighten it with hands first. Just make sure that you don't cross thread it because it is plastic. And because of its awkward position, it's very hard to tell if you're actually getting the threads or not. But it should go in pretty smooth. Yeah, I think we got it. For the filter, usually I would say you just hand tighten it, but because of how stupid of position this filter is in, we're gonna actually use the wrench to tighten it. My hands are all oily, so it's a lot harder to, harder to do when you have a bunch of oil on your hands. Feels about as snug as you want to get it. You want to kind of get your hand in there, make sure there's no gaps. Yep, looks all nice and snug. So then, this is our fancy AC line. We'll just pop it back together, and then we we'll start putting some oil in there. Right. This actually was like that. There we go. AC line back on. Let's get some oil started. Look at that, fancy little pink, man, everything matches this car, cute as a button. Yeah. Alright, and it should it's supposed to take about four quarts of oil, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put about three and a half first then we're gonna start the car up for a few seconds make sure that the oil gets to the filter fills the filter up and hold in yards check the oil level and then add as necessary so now we put about three and a half quarts of oil dipstick actually shows that it's almost full 
but what we're gonna do we're gonna start it up for like 15 seconds make sure that it gets some oil in there you always want to make sure that there is no leaks of any type anywhere if everything's tight everything looks good Okay, so, so now it pretty much shows us half, so almost full, so it definitely needs about half a quart in there. Uh, which before we started the car, it was actually showing all the way to here. Now it's all the way to here. So we're just going to put the remaining quart in, and that's it. All right, so we just put a half quart in, and now right on the money. It's a perfect oil level. And there's not a pool of oil underneath the car, which is a good thing also. That means job well done. So now all we have left is a Fiat cover. Fiat fancy multi air super duper mega this thing. All done.